Welcome back to Fire Solutions Academy. Um, I have this matrix, I want to solve it using rule reduction. Don't forget to share and subscribe to our channel, Fire Solutions Academy. Now, solution to this problem. Now, rule reduction is just like that. Just like you are dealing with inversion method. But this time around, you have one, 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 uh, four, and four, two, one, twelve. And uh, 9, 3, 1, and 32. That's what we are talking about. Now, how do I get my root reduction? Everything here becomes 0. Everything here becomes 0. And here, which is diagonal, becomes 1, 1. It means inverse equals to the number here. That is what I'm going to achieve at this point. At this point which I can start by saying minus 9 R. 1 plus R3 equals to R3. What am I trying to say there is that uh, I will have 1, 1, 1, 4, and I will have 4, 2, 1, 12. Now, everything becomes 9, 9, 9, which is minus 9. Here will become minus 32, minus 36. If I had them all, this one will be 0, and uh, here will be, I have minus 9 here. Which is if I had minus nine, and that is going to be minus twelve. This is minus because from the equation here is minus sorry, which is minus twelve, and oh, there is no another mistake. No, please, okay, no another mistake. Now and here will be minus twelve, and um, what x what x here will be uh, minus eight, and here will be thirty two. It will be minus four. That is the first step. Okay, the second step, I can say that minus 4R1 plus minus 4R1 plus R2 equals to R2. Minus 4R1, here will be 4, 4, which is going to be, yes, plus R2. This minus this, it means I'm having problem with what? Minus 1 will make 1, 1, 1, 4. Here will be now minus 4, R1, minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, and 16 plus. The air will become is 0. That will become is 0. Hope I'm doing the right thing. Yes, I'm doing the right thing. Here will become is 0. And here will be um, 2 of which will be minus 2. And here will be. Um, Minus 4 plus 1, which will be minus 3. And here will be 16 and 4, which will be minus 16 and 4, minus 4. And what else here will become is 0, minus 12, 18, and minus 4. Don't forget that. Okay, now, I think I'm moving on, about to get it well. I can easily say that um, since R2 plus R3 equals to R, since R2 plus R3, yes, since R2, yes, since R2, which is, let me put minus, because there is minus minus there, minus is R3, 2 plus R3 equals to R2. Yes, which I can now say that 1, 1, 1, 4, and 0 equals to R2. Now, since R2, here will become 0. Here will be 6 times 2, which will be 12. 12 it will be, oh, 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 equals to R3. Don't, see, don't make mistake. Equals to R3. Minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. Don't forget, equals to R3. Don't forget R3. It means I'll be having a 0. Here will become 6 times 2, which is minus 2, which is going to be 0. And here will be 18, plus 18, and this, it will be 10. And here will become, here will become, I have 6, 24, and this, that will be 20. It will be 20. That'll be 20. 
Okay. The next step I need to take now. I need to take the next step. It's too far. I don't have the space. Sorry. Zero. Zero. And here will be ten. And here is twenty. Okay. Don't forget, I'm trying to use reduction formula. The next thing I need to do is that um, I need to return. This also must become zero. What will I do? If I decide to say that um, uh, 10 R2, okay, if I have R2 plus 2 R2 equals to R1. Now, if I have R2 plus 2 R2 equals to R1, I think by so doing that, I'm good to go. It will be, this is going to be 1, 2, R2, 2 R2, 2 R2, which is going to be, is it 2 R2 of 2, it should be 2 R1, sorry, 2 R1, sorry, 2 R1, here will become 2, here will become, which is going to be 2 2 0, here will become, we have a 2 2, which is going to be what? One, yes, to be minus one, and here will become eight, and that'll be four. Yes, this will become a zero minus two minus three minus four, and a zero is zero, ten and twenty. Ah, can you see? I think it's getting better at this point. What else did I need to return to zero? What else did I need to return to zero? If I have 10 R2, 10 R2, can it be any problem? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, if I have 10 R2, 10 R2 plus 3 R3 equals to R2, what will you do? Yes. Which I will be having, I have no problem. 20 is 0 minus 1, 4. I have no problem with this. And this will be um, 2 and 2, which is going to be 20 is 0. We have no problem. This one will be what? Um, 2 and 2, which is going to be, this one will be 20 plus 0. That will be minus 20. And what else? I have this, which will be 30 and 30. Which is going to be zero. Okay. Now, the next one I'm adding, look at this 40 minus 40 and 60. It will be 20. What else do I need to do? I have a zero, a zero, and 10 and um, 20. Yes. Okay. Can you see? Uh, you need to think. That is the logic behind no reduction. You need to think of what to do. You know, think wisely so that you make you won't make wrong mistake. Now, the next thing I need to do now, I'm having problem with my what? With that one by that angle. If I'm the one, I can now say that um, 10 R1, 10 R1 plus R3 equals to R1. Yes, 10 R1, 10 R1 plus R3 equals to. It means at that point I will be having 20. I'll be having 0, which is this one will be what? 10 minus 10 into the 0. And um, I'll be having here will be um 10 10 plus 10 plus um, oh, okay. What else do I need to do there? Yes, 10 R1, here will be 40, which is going to be 40 plus 20, it will be 60. Don't forget, I'm done, okay. And 60, the other one will be, I will turn the other one, minus 2, 20, and um, and uh, is 0, 20, and um, 0 is 0, 10. 
Oh, very correct. Thank God. I think we are here now. Everything here becomes zero. The other part becomes zero. Now, remain um, principal diagonal. Now, how do I deal with that one? I can now say that what? One all over R, I mean, one all over 20 R1 equals to R1 minus one all over 20 R2 equals to R2. And the last part is one all over 10 R3 equals to R3. Yes, I think I've gotten something good for myself now. I think I can now say that I what? This one become one, zero, zero, and uh, 20 divided by this, which is going to be three. And here will become zero, one, zero, minus 20, that will be minus one, and uh, zero, zero, one, this one will be two. That is my answer. Wow, can you see how simple rule reduction is? But you need to think. You need to think and think and get something good for yourself. Now, don't forget that P, Q, X, I mean, R. It means P equals to 3, Q equals to minus 1, R equals to what? 2. Now, how do I know what I've done is correct or not? I can pick up any of the equation. Look at the equation that I want to pick, like uh, the equation three of the, which is going to be um, which is, I have p plus q plus r equals to four, which is equation one. Now, from the question, which is what is my p? I have three. My q minus one. My r plus two. This and this become two plus two, which is going to be four equals to four. LHS is equals to RHS. That is the confirmation. Oh, oh, yes. Can you see the way I'm sweating? I have to be thinking and thinking for me to get it better because any mistake I make on the system, it will affect my results. That is why you need to think properly and have your answer uh, well. Once again, you are home with Further Solutions Academy. Don't forget to share our video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.